I'm Josh Bashong, OSU Area Agronomist, stationed in Enid, Oklahoma. Uh, so we've been getting a lot of calls from farmers and producers uh, with concerns about dicamba. Uh, so dicamba is a herbicide. Uh, we do have some dicamba products labeled for certain uses. And so the recent rulings from a U.S. District Court in Tucson, Arizona, pulled or vacated those three labels for use in uh, dicamba tolerant soybeans and cotton. Uh, so Extend Flex, cotton and soybeans, and those three products that they pulled the label on or vacated the label on were Extended Max by Bayer, uh, Genia by BASF, and Tavium by Syngenta. All other dicamba products, and there's a lot of other dicamba products on the market for use in Oklahoma, but those are the only three that had their labels removed. So that's February 6th at the beginning of the month. A few, late, a few days later, we had uh, Blaine Arthur, the Oklahoma Secretary of Ag, wrote a letter to EPA. A lot of other farmer groups and commodity groups and uh, other states uh, submitted a lot of later letters of support for at least getting an existing stocks use order on these products because at this year or stage in the, in the season, uh, we already have producers that already have product on their farm, already have commitments to purchase those products or have already purchased, just not received them. Uh, so they've bought into those traded systems on soybeans and cotton. Uh, so we were able to get that through. Uh, February 14th, EPA came back and said they would uh, issue that existing stocks order. Uh, so what does that mean? Anything that the farmer already has, that's already in the chain of custody, uh, that has uh, been planned to use for this year, uh, can be sold still. Uh, so you still have up till I believe the end of May to purchase those dicamba products. Uh, so we can still use that technology as of right now uh, for this year in soybeans and cotton. Like I said, it's just those three products. We've been using dicamba in Oklahoma for a long time, over half a century. Uh, the dicamba originally got labeled, uh, I believe, 1967 with BASF. Uh, so we use this product. It's a general use product. We can use it in pastures, uh, corn, milo, uh, a lot of other uses for it. It's a general use. Anyone can buy it. These three products that we use for over top use in cotton and beans, uh, like I said, for one, those varieties have to be, uh, have that trait to have resistance to it. We need this product. Uh, we have a lot of weeds that have resistance, uh, so we can't just rely on Roundup Ready with glyphosate. Uh, so a lot of our broadleaf weeds, uh, mare's tail, pig weeds, tall water hemp, there are some deadlines, like I said, you need to purchase it before the end of May. Uh, for soybeans, the label does say we, the cutoff date is the end of June. So uh, in Oklahoma, where we do have some double crop soybeans, that's going to be uh, out of the window for use in, in soybeans after, after wheat. So in cotton, uh, we do have the end of July to make those applications. But there are some deadlines. Uh, we still have this trait for this year, this growing season. Uh, but if you do have any questions, feel free to get a hold of the Extension Educator near you.